to Discover DMAC from beautiful Boca Raton, Florida. Digital Media Arts College, or DMAC, is where video games come to life. Movie animation meets artistry, and the graphic arts can take you to the web and beyond. Most important, this is where you can turn your creativity into a career. Stay tuned, because it's all here at Discover DMAC, Digital Media Arts College. You like video games, or you call yourself a gamer? Well, let's learn how they're made. Stay tuned as we take you through the world of graphic design, computer animation, advertising design, game art, web design and development, programming and visual effects animation. There's so many aspects of graphic design I like to consider it as an umbrella where all of these other fields are fall underneath it, like advertising, web design. I chose my program because with graphic design, the sky's the limit, and you're really as successful as you want to be, and also because I'm really passionate about what I do, and I think it's important in a career to be passionate and to really enjoy it all the way through. In the advertising concentration, we focus on the development of a product, product idea, product placement. As advertisers and communicators, we really have to think about how the consumer digests and consumes media. And one of the things that we found recently with the advent of some of the new social media platforms is that they limit the response times, the content, uh, to a number of characters in time. So we have to adapt our style of writing, our style of editing, for the way consumers are really taking in information. And something we really try to do at Digital Media Arts College is make sure that the students are prepared for what they're really going to find when they get into the advertising agencies after graduation. Another really popular area of graphic design is motion design. Motion design, also known as motion graphics, combines the principles of graphic design as well as animation to create a very eye-catching experience for the audience. This can include logo animations, lower thirds, as well as titles for movies or TV shows. Most of the freelance work I do is in this area, and I like to share the projects I'm working on with my students, show them some behind the scenes, and also give them some tips and pointers of what to expect when they get out there in the industry. That's pretty much what everything is going now, is either web or mobile or motion graphics. It's no more of the printing ads, you do get that, but everything's more visual. So that visual communication is definitely what I'm aiming for. The general process of graphic design is understanding the client's needs, first and foremost. So if a client comes to you and says, I have a product or a, a company I'm developing, you have to have an understanding of what that product or company is, research on that company, and then start to develop a visual solution to what may fit their needs. Computer animation is a process by which moving images are created using computer graphics. 3D animation involves creating three-dimensional models in the computer. Texture and lighting are added, and a 3D model is brought to life through animation. Computer animation is the culmination of artistic and technical skills to make something awesome. Creating virtual worlds, virtual characters that can act and do things that we can't do in real life. I chose computer animation as a career because it was everything that I wanted in a career. It was the culmination of all the arts. Why should high school students pursue a career in computer animation? That's a good question. Why should they? Because they like it. It's fun. It's awesome. It's a great thing to do. I chose visual effects at DMAC to uh, help me create and grow my own company doing video production. They gave me the skills I needed to get the projects I was taking done and get them done at a high quality and grow my skills as an artist. One misconception I hear a lot is the idea that computer animation and game art are different. In practice, they're nearly identical. The difference is the end result. Most computer animation is created simply to be watched. Video games, on the other hand, are interactive. In order to create that interactivity, additional skills are needed. It's this difference that separates how computer animation and video games are made. Characters are developed from start to finish and ultimately brought into the engine where they're actually uh, blowing things up, running, jumping um, within the game itself. So uh, we actually have several students creating levels and, and designs to uh, facilitate that. Looking to the future, mobile technology continues to grow and innovate and shows no signs of slowing down. Whether it's watching TV and movies, playing games, or organizing our lives on our mobile devices, 
there will always be a need for talented artists to rise to the challenge of creating the ideal experience for their audience. Graphic design and computer animation rock. And at DMAC, you learn from the best. DMAC graduates have worked on blockbuster movies like The Avengers and Life of Pi. And that's not all. Scholarships and financial assistance are available to those who qualify. So if you want to turn your creative into a career, find your passion and bring it to life. It all starts at DMAC, Digital Media Arts College. Go to dmac.edu to learn more. Now, we're going to explore advertising design, where creative design, media, marketing, online and product placement come together to sell products worldwide. And the world of game art, where monsters and superheroes come to life and fight to the death. Talk about an exciting career. Whatever you're passionate about, DMAT can help you bring it to life. Scholarships and financial assistance are available to those who qualify. So if you want to turn your creativity into an opportunity, go to dmac.edu forward slash TV to learn more. The web has become a billion dollar industry, instrumental in every facet of our life, from laptops to tablets, cell phones, and so much more. Web design and development is the entire process of conceptualizing, mocking up, and creating a website from start to finish. Uh, that means uh, the visual front end aspect of it, that's the, the web design aspect of it. Uh, the web development aspect of it centers around programming and, and actually building the code, creating the code that makes the site work. And uh, web design and development that would entail that entire process from start to end. I see a brilliant future for web design and development. Um, those technologies are here to stay. Um, they're not going anywhere. Uh, in fact, they'll, they get stronger every day. Um, any, any person who is not versed in the language of technology, which is in many cases web, um, is going to be left out. So it has a brilliant future and um, it's, it's the thing to know. The difference between web design and development and the programming concentration is that uh, both, uh, both of those offer the students uh, the key skills they need to succeed in the marketplace, but the programming concentration really emphasizes certain technologies, uh, client side and server side technologies such as PHP, JavaScript, WordPress, jQuery, all the things that uh, the student will need to know to truly succeed. Coding is definitely something that some people shy away from. Um, I love it simply because it is another language and it's something that a lot of people don't know and don't understand. Um, so when it comes to the industry, you'll definitely have an advantage of being able to be that person that knows something else that somebody doesn't. What makes the programming concentration different here at DMAC from other schools is um, we're an art school and uh, that means that students uh, get a hybrid experience. They get both the strengths and, uh, of the creative aspect and the programming and technology based aspect of uh, web design. So now you're asking yourself, why DMAC? Why Digital Media Arts College? Here's why. So why DMAC? Our instructors are seasoned professionals who understand that part of being creative is also being an innovator. We realize that technology is simply a tool that can only work if an idea is worthwhile. As incredible as technology has become, it's useless if we don't nurture a creative spirit in our students. We have this uh, mentor apprenticeship style of teaching uh, that we sit this with them one-on-one -on -one and actually help them out. We see their weaknesses, we see their strengths, we help them with both and we uh, expect uh, and want the best from our students. I'll bring in my own work and I'll work with the students in class. I'll be working on uh, my comic book, Omega Paradox, or any projects that I might have. I will explain to them what I'm doing, what processes I'm going through, what problems are arising. The students should come to DMAC because it gives them the best education, really. Uh, they have the best equipment, they have the best professors, uh, they have open labs 24 hours, so there's a lot of little perks that kind of really help uh, for a student to succeed in their education. Why DMAC? It's simple, because here at DMAC we care about the students, we put the students first, they're not just a number, but instead they become part of the DMAC family or the Digital Media Arts family. 
I love the professors here at DMAC because they're all in the field and they're all teaching from experience. They are professional and they know what they're talking about, so it's really fantastic to always get the feedback from them because, because they, they know what they're doing. We work very closely with our students, and not just when you're here, but when you go out there to get a job. So we keep in touch with all of our alumni. We also offer the ability for them to come back and take a class if they want to stay on top of some kind of industry trend or something that we're offering. That's DMAC. The next move is up to you. Financial aid and scholarships are available to those who qualify. Go to dmac.edu forward slash TV to learn more.